AU leaders are expected to attend the year-end deadline for peace on the continent by another decade, according to local media. Well, joining us from the Silencing Guns Coalition, Niniola Apata, who is a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and performer from Ekiti State in Nigeria. We also have Folus Toms, an actress, a voiceover artist, producer, radio, and television host. Folus had a law to create a positive impact in society. Many thanks for joining us both here on Bottom Line Africa. Niniola, let me begin with you as we speak about the Silence the Guns Coalition. What impact? has this campaign had since it was launched? Okay, so first of all, I'll say Africa, my Africa. Africa, my motherland. Africa is where we belong, and Africa, Africa will always be for us. So um, for me, I'll always be a peace ambassador because if there's chaos in the land, we can't thrive, business can't thrive, we can't live, uh, we can't eat, we can't socialize. So my stand is C. Let's be one. Let's nurture our peace and say no to um, gun violence and violence in general. Well, it's been seven years, though, since this uh, Silence the Guns initiative was launched. What achievements can we speak of so far? Um, I'd say uh, we can underestimate um, the um, extent to which our voices can reach and um, what we can do is keep educating people because the more we talk about it the more we educate people the more um, you know people from different walks of life you know talk about it the more we can educate people because I know uh, um, people don't nobody wants to die nobody wants to lose a loved one so um, it's an initiative that's been around for like 10 years and um, I'm thankful that it's going to have an extension so that we keep talking because um, more violence has ensued across Africa and there's a need to keep talking we cannot stop talking regardless of whatever achievements have been made by um, the initiative mm -hmm. um let's bring in uh, Folu storms uh, Folu, many thanks for being with us so um Cyril Ramaphosa they're calling for an extension by 10 years of the silence the guns campaign and so we've had now community activists African youth as well as artists in the public eye um, come up with um, a push for this campaign the pledge for peace video speak to us about the impact this video is expected to have well thank you very much for having me on here um, the impact the video is expected to have is to reignite that sense of individual responsibility you know um, if you watch the video it talks about Ubuntu and that's the the realization that we are all one we are all connected now the full the full um, theme for the African Union this year was silencing the guns and creating a more conducive environment for for africans essentially to thrive um and i know that you you did ask about the last seven years and why this would make any difference and what's going to go forward i think we've seen young africans especially standing up consistently and periodically through the years and when that happens each time there is a young african movement in one country or the other and especially 2020 we've seen a lot of that a lot of youth participation um, or able to connect a little bit more with each other and look back and see what groundwork has been laid now it's not perfect yet but the fact that we have an african continental free trade agreement and um, that's going to be going into effect from the first of january i mean that's phenomenal a lot of naysayers are still saying it's not going to work but it's going to create i think arguably the largest free trade area that exists um, in the world. I may be mistaken by that, but it's quite a huge deal. And sta it's starting with you guys over in the Eastern Bloc, um, which I think is phenomenal. So this campaign calling on young people, um, saying pledge, you know, pledge to end violence, the same hands that we use sometimes to divide ourselves and to cause problems. If each one of us in our communities, in our societies, in our individual capacity to influence or to encourage or to support continue to spread this message it turns into real action it's not just conversation because we are seeing the action and we've been seeing it being carried out by multiple africans um, across the continent and even seeing our diaspora and strength connect with us as well in trying to make this louder so that's what i expect over the ne next 10 years is that we've already seen for the past seven or so a decade in small ways the countries and state actors doing their best um, to implement policies 
that will help African people. But now this pledge for peace is calling on us, you and I, whoever's watching, um, in whatever capacity you can understand this message, to do your part, you know? Let, let posterity not judge us negatively. Let's say that we did everything we could to support any action that would lend towards peace for everybody on this continent, every single person. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm involved in it, and that's what I expect. Um, mm -hmm. from this campaign going forward. Absolutely. And of course, the call there is for collective action, urging citizens, but also the civil society to take up a more active role to end um, violent conflict in the country. But let's speak a bit about the challenges uh, for Lou, because while youth are coming out, especially um, in, in the age of social media, videos like this, My Pledge for Peace, going viral on social media, there have been concerns, um, like the situation in Nigeria, where the state blatantly um, goes beyond the, the, the policies or past the policies they've put down um, to, to, to commit human rights violations as well. Speak to us about the situation in Nigeria now and how this Pledge for Peace campaign has been adopted. Well, I can't speak to um, everybody's uh, opinion or belief or even the state's actions. I do know that there is no state that wants to be divided onto itself. Um, and I do know that even within state actors, even within government's policies, there are individuals. And I know that this pledge is for those individuals. It's not for some blanket generic um, you know, name that we put on something when we don't like it, when we don't like how it looks, we don't like how it presents. There are individuals behind these state or communities or government actions um, that in themselves can be responsible, can be held responsible um, without blaming an entire nameless entity or, you know, this entire entity or, or, or the totality of it. Um, and, and what I'm hoping is that this pledge will continue to remind everyone in whatever capacity it is that they are acting, whatever impact they have in their day-to-day -day lives, whatever their, their job is, um, to do their part. That's, that's really it. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, does that answer your question to an extent? Mm -hmm. All right, um, Niniola, let's have your comments on the same, your involvement in this uh, Pledge for Peace video as well, um, one that's meant to create a positive response to the AU's call uh, for an extension of the Silence the Guns campaign. What would you say of your involvement in this project? Okay, so um, different uprisings in um, Africa due to the dissatisfaction dissatisfaction of citizens and also um, young people are using their voices and I feel <clears throat> in the bid to use our voices it's um, making us realize how much we love our country for instance um, in Nigeria when the um, hashtag NSARS um, and police brutality protest came up it really gave me that deep sense of belonging and um, the need for nation building and of course we to uh, you know transcend to uh, building our continent Africa and so I believe that everyone has a responsibility to speak out and also I believe that it starts from the smallest unit of society that's the family um, we should learn how to love ourselves we should teach how to love um, love your neighbor as yourself because the people in government are um, a product of a, a family as well. So if we can preach love, let's preach love instead of hate, hate, hate. Let's use social media positively. Let's um, speak positively and um, let's push um, um, having a good life and violence free life basically. Mm. All right, so many thanks. That is Niniola Apata. She is a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and performer from Akiti State in Nigeria. Also, from Follow Storms, who is an actress and a voiceover artist, is speaking to us about the Pledge for Peace campaign as the African Union now calls for 